Nasty dog, dog and dog. Special treat for everybody today. I'm not doing a long intro. I'm just getting straight to it. You see the title? We're doing Snoop Dogg. Or in this phase of his life, Snoop Doggy Dogg. You know what I'm saying? I like that name much better. But he shortened it to Snoop Dogg, and that's how we know him. Snoop, Snoop Lion, Uncle Snoop, Brother Blunts. But this is gonna be Snoop's debut project, his debut album, y'all. Doggy style which came out on Death Row Records. And it came out in 1993. When, when this project dropped, Snoop became the man. Everybody loved himself some Snoop. And this is the beginning of the infamous career known as Snoop Dogg. Bath, bathtub intro. So Snoop is with Snoop is with some with some girl, and it looks like they're in the bathtub together, you know, doing intimate things. <laughs> and then uh, the doorbell rings, and it sounds like a whole crowd of people come through and just interrupt his vibe. He's just trying to chill. He's trying to max and relax, and 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 then everybody kills his vibe. Don't y'all hate that? Say so you're chilling with a significant other, and then you know. Like certain people, they like I'm not trying to equate this with this, but it just popped in my head. Like you're chilling with somebody, and then you know you see somebody that you know, or even a homie or whatever, and then they just don't know. Like, yo, now, not now. I'm with somebody, not now. Don't you hate that? Like, you can say what's up to me any other time. Right now, I'm busy. Get your pooper scooper. So, yeah. So that was the G Funk intro. So, Death Row, West Coast, uh, around this time was really heavy with the G Funk sound. And this album, all the tracks are produced by Dr. Dre, by the way. You know, and uh, G-Funk was really, really big at this time, 1993. And Snoop Snoop was just killing it. With, Snoop just killed it with this style. But I love how they shined the light on Old Lady of Rage, another Death Row artist. And uh, she killed it. You know, she knocked it out the park. I mean, that was a really good look, if you ask me. I mean, this Snoop, Snoop was, you know, already a popular artist at this time. And... This is his debut album. It's gonna do numbers. And she already had like some name buzz already because of the Chronic album. With so much drama in the air we see, it's kinda hard being a Snoopy or Double G. She's a hoes down like the motherfuckers bouncing. Sit down, Jen. I'm still popping. Dre got some bitches from the city. Counting to serve me. Now I put a cherry on top. Gin and Juice. That one. That was obviously a single off the album. That was the biggest single off this album. And this was a smash hit. Oh my gosh. This is still a smash hit to this day. This beat is so hard. The production is crazy, and Snoop is just ripping through it with his lyrics. I mean, he got to a mac, he got mac, he got mac into a bitch named Shady. She used to be the homeboy's lady. Oh, that bitch, Haiti degrees. When I tell her, bitch, please race up off these nuts, cause you gets none of these at ease. Come on, that's pimping at his finest, man. This is just classic. I grew up listening to this, gin and juice. Everybody's got to hear that shit on W Balls, W Balls. What can I say? What, 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 what do I say to an interlude like that? His name, so the station is called W Balls, and that's DJ Soul D Nuts. And this is the Jack Off Hour? That's hilarious, bro. <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, that was funny as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. I had to process that for a second. That shit. Ooh, that. That trip got a giddy for his grip as I dip around the corner. Now I'm on it. Another mission. Wish it. Now I make hits every single day. Wait, that nigga, the nigga like a Drake. So he's getting a hot. Yes, indeed it is. Snoop Dogg is on the mic. I'm about as crazy as big as Marky. Yeah, okay. The shiznit. I always like that song. Snoop has a style which is so like. His delivery is so laid back and relaxed. Yet he's like. It sounds like he freestyling. He gives off he gives off the impression like he's actually freestyling. It don't feel like he wrote none of that down. You know, it feels like he improvised a whole lot of that. I always like Snoop style. When when talking about the greatest of all time, Snoop is never mentioned in the discussion, and I always want to know why Snoop's never why Snoop's name's never on there. Like, he's got the longevity. He's got classics under his belt, and he's able to pull off some power moves. He's been involved in in, in beefs. He's got the popularity. His, his his popularity has never faltered. He's always stayed in that lane, like like on that on that on that lane. Like he's always been dope. And even this new generation, Snoop is still relevant. <laughs> like he's still relevant. He has a show with Martha Stewart. How is he not one of the goats? Okay, so that's the domino interlude. Uh, so is the domino game taking place at Snoop's place or Gin and Juice? Or is it a different setting? I have no idea. When Snoop was getting his bath rubbed on with his chick in the bathtub in the lube, in the intro, does it all connect or is it different settings? Maybe I'm looking too much into this. La -di -da -di, we likes to party. We don't cause trouble. We don't bother nobody. Myself, I stretch a morning yard. To me. Ah. Dick's in the face and punched her in the ah. Lottie Dottie. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. It obviously wasn't my first time hearing this, but I haven't heard it in such a long time. I enjoy Snoop's rendition of it. So Snoop actually in hip hop, you recycle a lot. You re you recycle from the pioneers, right? So Snoop recycled this from Slick Rick. That's why he gave a shout out to Slick Rick in the beginning of the track. Shout out to my nigga Slick Rick, and whoever don't like it, eat a fat dick. Uh, uh, Slick Rick's Lottie Dottie, you know. And the original Lottie Dottie was done by Slick Rick and Dougie Fresh, and there was no beat to it. <laughs> Dougie Fresh is actually the beat, the human beatbox machine. And Dougie Fresh is, you know, I can't do it like Dougie, so I'm not gonna attempt to do it. I'm not gonna bear myself on camera. Or I will embarrass myself on camera in the future, but I don't feel like doing it right now. <laughs> yeah, and you know, and and the Slick Rick has the same story as Snoop. Um, Snoop just improvised a few things, like uh, I threw on my brand new doggy on my doggy underwear. Slick Rick says I threw on my brand new Gucci underwear. Uh, or um, Snoop's like as he's leaving the house, he's like, Oh no, I forgot my endo. You know, Slick Rick says, Oh no, I forgot my Kango, the hat. This was another smash hit song off this album, Murder Was The Case. You know, I, I do like this song. It's not one of my favorites, but I do like this song a lot. However, uh, let's get into what this song's about. So, as we covered, Snoop got shot, and he's basically dead. However, I, as he's, you know, at the hospital and he's on his deathbed, he hears a, 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 a devilish voice, and it's the, it's the devil. It's Lucifer. And the devil's trying to make a deal with Snoop like, yo, give me your soul and I'll give you money, fame. I'll give you the the perfect life. And Snoop's like, 
But what about my loved ones? Will they be taken care of? My boo boo's about to have my baby. Like, you know, what about everybody? He's like, everybody will be taken care of. Everything's gonna be all good, you know. And and revenge will be revenge will happen and all that. But you gotta give me your soul, you know. And Snoop, you know, it, like give me your soul. And you know, the devil's like close your eyes. And the Snoop's like my eyes closed. And Snoop basically sells his soul to the devil. You know, Snoop sells his soul to the devil in the song, Murder Was the Case. And and now, the money, riches, and fame is all because of the devil. And now Snoop's living his the brand new life. People are shocked to see Snoop. He's looking real. The song is real creative. Real creative. Hey! 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 That was a dope cipher right there. Oh, that was a cipher. That was cipher. They was just spitting. They were going in. What you had? You had RBX, Dog Pound, Snoop, and then you had the DOC in there. Hey man, that shit was fire. Hold on. <laughs> I like that. Nasty dog, dog and dog. Hey, I love that song with a passion, y'all. I love who who am I? What's my name? Hold on, man. So he's letting you know, like, first of all, you gotta see the music video for this one. It's hilarious. He's with this chick, right? Before Pops comes home, right? And then she was like, you know, I love you, right? He's like, oh, nonchalantly, you don't love me. You just love my doggy style. Shut up, Snoop. <laughs> My what's my name? He's letting you know exactly who he is. Who exactly is Snoop Dogg? He's like she want the nigga with the biggest nuts. And guess what? He is I, and I is him. Slim, slim with the tilted brim. What's my motherfucking name? <laughs> he lets you know he got the dog pound right behind him. The drain there too, like. And it's like a matter of fact. Rat to tat tat, cause I never hesitate to put a nigga on his back. And Dre, now peep out the manuscript. You see that it's a must we drop gangster. What's my motherfucking name? Come on, man. Dre with the deep ass voice. Dre, Dre, Dr. Dre got one of the best voices in hip hop. What? And my cousin Snoop as well, you know what I mean. And it don't take much for the dog kind of fuck. That I kick it like this. Now how many bitches must get dick before they say, a bit of a nigga from back in the day. Yeah, I mess with that song a lot. I love that song. Yeah, corrupt corrupt is a lyricist. And one thing that corrupt, corrupt said that caught my attention. He said, um, I ain't no joke, my idol, he said something about, I ain't no joke and my idol isn't, so why the fuck should I be? Something like that. But, but I caught what he was saying. He's not a joke. And he's like, he said his idol isn't one either. So he's talking about Rakim. Rakim has the joke, Rakim has the song, I ain't no joke. You know? So, corrupt, his idol is Rakim. I caught that. That's dope. And I met you last night, baby. Well, if corrupt gave a fuck about a bitch, I'd always be broke. I never have no motherfucking end of the smoke. If you know why, you know Guess who's back in the motherfucking hell? That was a classic. First of all, rest in peace, Nate Dog. Nate Dog is the. His voice just is like. Brings like. I, Nate Dogg can just make me happy, dog. Like, Nate Dogg's voice is just sensational. Corrupt. Hey, man, Corrupt. Corrupt can spit with the best of them. Corrupt can spit with the best of them. The Dog Pound was on one back in the day. And then you had Snoop, who just, with that second verse, was the best verse. 
<laughs> you know, guess who's back in the motherfucking house? Come on, man. Snoop out here going crazy. But shout out to my man Warren G. Warren G. Warren G has a smooth way about him. He's not ultra lyrical or nothing like that, but he's just a he's a smooth guy. Every time I hear Warren G rap, he's never spent anything whack, but it's always just been smooth. I like Warren G. Can we get a motherfucking moment of silence for this small chronic break? Yeah. Niggas be brown nosing these hoes and shit. Take it bitch. <laughs> Niggas like fuck the hoes for real, man. You take y'all y'all taking these hoes out to eat? What? You spending money on these hoes? You brown nosing on these hoes? Snoop is clouded on ya. He's it's like everywhere I look and everywhere I go, I'm hearing motherfuckers trying to steal my flow, but it ain't no bank. It's the knickknack petty way. I still got the biggest sack. So put your gun away, run away, cause I'm back. Wow, wow. 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 The dog hair rocks the party all night long till we early morning. Shout out to the dramatics. Uh, the dog pound is just. I didn't realize like Daz and Corrupt went on this many songs. I didn't realize it. Yo, Daz is actually really underrated. I know he's underrated as a producer, but Daz is actually underrated as a rapper too. Daz can spit. Like we know Corrupt is a lyricist, but it's sort of like Mob Deep. Like people pay so much attention to Prodigy that I feel like Havoc kind of gets left hanging sometimes. Like, Havoc makes fire beats, but Havoc is spit, too. Yo, is this a weird comparison? I feel like the Dog Pound is like the Mob Deep of the West Coast. I don't think that's a bad comparison at all. It's kind of like right up the same alley. My name is Snoop. Hi, Snoop. What you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a motherfucking hustler. You better ask somebody. <laughs> You over there with the French braids in the back. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a motherfucking hustler. You better ask somebody. Yo, imagine a kid really answering that like that. <laughs> I could really envision a young Snoop talking like that too. This is for the cheese and this is for the hustler. This is for the hustlers, now back to the cheese. It's 199 trend, so let me just play. It's Snoop Dogg, I'm on the back of back with Dr. Dre. Sit back, relax, new jacks get smacked. Woo! It's Snoop Doggy Dogg, I'm at the top of the stack. With the gangster shit that keeps you hanging. How many hoes in 94 will I be banging? I love Snoop like this, man. Snoop, first of all, Snoop attacked that beat. He's just talking his shit on this. How many hoes in 94 will I be banging every single one to get the job done? Come on, man. Snoop is going crazy. You know, he said, I'll blow up your mouth like you was dizzy calypsy. That nigga, bitch, my name is Sam Snake. You better recognize. Hey, yo, I'm so bad. Yo, Snoop, what's up, Snoop? Hey, what you doing? That was like some old, that was like some old, uh, 1970s, some, some Shaft player shit right there. I had to put the glasses on. I was getting a headache, y'all. So I got my glasses on. Yeah, that was like some player Shaft shit right there, man. Uh, and his girl, Sam Sneed. Shout out Sam Sneed. Dope producer, by the way. Shout out Pittsburgh. Uh, Sam Snee's girl chose Snoop. You know, she's like, oh, snap, it's Snoop. That's disrespectful. You with somebody and you talking about another man? That's disrespectful. And, you know, I can see why Sam got tight. He said, what's up, then? Snoop's like, we can handle this like some gentleman or we can get gangster with it. He said, what's up? And you got popped. Yeah, what's happening? This one is dedicated to my nephews. All my niggas out there. Like my pay attention. One, two. Oh, what shall I do? I'm slipping on my khakis. So much drippy for the J's. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that bitch. Niggas always hand. It was hot. That was real cool. It, 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 I. I, I I feel like that's that that again. He gives me that 1975, like that 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 1970s vibe. I was just like, I'm in relaxation mode with that one. Like, damn man, that's like granny vibes right there. It's just beautiful, and it's funny. I, on the beginning, do 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 do. I'm like, oh yeah, that was a Shanti. Rain on me. Okay, I knew I. Hey, 
That was actually quite enjoyable. I never heard that song though. If it ain't one thing, it's a motherfucking other. Word to my granny and my daddy and my mother back in the day. On the side where it's at, a nigga had to have a fat stack. I was a fool. Oh man, pump pump. Now nah, that's how you close an album. I'm gonna get straight to it, y'all. My score, 10 out of 10. I enjoyed this album thoroughly. This album was a 10 out of 10 for me. That was easy. I'm starting to rot. You know what I'm saying? I really enjoyed about this album. Aside from production, production was just amazing because it was in the hands of Death Row. You know, Dr. Dre and Daz and 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 all the in-house producers at Death Row. But what I really enjoyed most was the fact that even though this is a Snoop album, others shined. Like, he wasn't hogging the spotlight. He was just doing him. And the fact that Old Lady of Rage, I mean, the Lady of Rage, I keep calling her Old Lady of Rage. She's not old. Anywho, the Lady of Rage, you know, she had her shine. Dre was all over the album. Snoop is Snoop. He's the star. You had the Dog Pound, who was featured prominently on this album. Shout out Corrupt. And shout out Daz. Nate Dog had his shine. Sam Sneed had a cameo. Like, it, like Death Row was at full com comorality? 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 I can't say that word. What the hell did you just say? Togetherness. They were a full togetherness. Like, they were, they were a united front. You had RBX. You had the DOC. Like... They were just eating together right here, and it was dope. It was real dope. This album was fantastic, and everybody was spitting bars. Shout out Warren G also. Everybody was spitting bars. There was no weak verse. The skits were hilarious. I love albums with skits, but Death Row, like The Chronic and Doggy Style, they had some good skits. You know, this was a job well done. This was a job really well done. Um, And Snoop, Snoop. Just made it sound so easy. He just does that. Snoop to me is one of the greatest of all time. Snoop just spits and he makes it so easy. Favorite tracks? Man, everything. But if I gotta be more specific, I'll give you my top three right now. I will say... Um, let me look at the track list. I'll give you my top three right now. Top three. Um, top three songs I would probably say... Who am I? Ain't no fun. If the homies can't have none. And I'll say. Mm, I'll say Lottie Dottie. Kendrick Lamar. The Game. 50 Cent. Tupac, J. Cole, you know, Eminem, you know, you, a lot of your favorite rappers, favorite rappers were inspired by this album right here. And this right here is an amazing way to start off for Snoop Dogg's career. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah, we did Snoop. We did Snoop, man. We got Snoop in the books now. We, 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 we covering all bases out here. Definitely. So yeah, 10 out of 10. And don't y'all forget it. This is definitely 10 out of 10. And I'm ready to end this video because I want to bump this throughout the whole day. Because now I'm feeling, I'm in this vibe right now. So, uh, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for the support. Love each and every one of y'all. I'll catch everybody at the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Alright? Peace.